This has been a great week for AI with many things happening, and we keep seeing AI progress right before our eyes. It still surprises me that some people say that AI has plateaued and there will be no more AI progress to come, only for AI to keep progressing every day. Now, I understand where some of them may be getting those ideas, but if they looked at the small increments, then they will finally see the way that AI will go. First, AI progress may not be loud or huge changes that leave people amazed, but those small incremental changes that make AI better and better. Not only better at doing their job, but also being more helpful to humans. Last week we saw Claude Agents introduced, which was a big thing, and now all the rumors are that all major AI companies are working on their agents, which we may see as early as next month. After the long wait, and the disappointment we all had when we did not get to use Search GPT, it's finally rolled out to the public and is now available for use. So, for those of you who are not aware of what Search GPT is all about, it is a way of using ChatGPT to get answers from the web. Similar to how you use Google to search for answers from the web this time, the AI gives you the answer directly and then includes the list of sources where those answers came from. Search GPT is available on the ChatGPT app or web version, and you can use it by clicking the web icon which says search the web. Different from how the AI gave you answers it formulated itself, Search GPT gathers information from the internet preventing unnecessary rabbit holes you get into by searching the web. For example, I asked Search GPT what is contextual retrieval augmented generation, and you can see the answers it gave are all directly drawn from the internet. All the answers come with links to the websites that provided that information. OpenAI also released the Chrome extension of Search GPT to make it easy to change your whole browser to be run by Search GPT. So let us see how it works. I have already installed the extension and now instead of getting the normal Google results when I search, I will be directly taken to search GPT with the answer to what I asked and the links to the websites. When doing this I have realized how subjective the internet will be. A recent paper was published that showed how AI models are biased and follow the ideology of their creators. Let us consider what impact this will have on the information people consume. If a Chinese search GPT exists and an American one, how different will the answer be? I know it may seem similar to the way search works, but the consequences are much more. Despite there being differences in the search results in China and the US, people have always had the diligence to search more and more for answers. However, one major problem with AI is that people trust it more than blue links. It will erode the curiosity and desire to prove what is written since more and more people believe that it will provide the best answer. That is my biggest concern with Search GPT at the moment. Moving on to other news, Anthropic has introduced a dictation feature where you can now speak directly to Claude. You can now dictate messages to Claude on your iPhone, iPad, and Android apps. I know that is good news for some people who do not like typing, and it adds more usability features which makes it easier for more people to use. In addition to that, the Claude app is now available for download on both Windows and Mac. For those who do not fancy the browser version, this is for you although there may not be any benefits that come with it over the browser version. But having choices is a good thing. Finally, for the open source lovers, there is news that Llama 4 is already in training and has been allocated more than 100k H100. This was posted by an engineer at Meta and was confirmed by Jan Luk Hun, who is the chief scientist at Meta. So probably next month or early next year, we shall be seeing a new open source model, which will be competing with closed state-of-the-art models. It seems like there is now a competition on who owns the largest training cluster with Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg going head-to-head. -head. Elon Musk has even suggested that they are doubling their Colossus supercluster to 200k H100. This is where competition will keep improving the capabilities of AI models, and we are in for a treat. That's all for me. Have a good day and stay positive.